Hey guys, how's it going? That metal blade finally came in uh, yesterday afternoon. Of course, right after I got done doing all the metal cutting, that's where I got it from. And it's a quarter inch blade. The blade that was on there was, I believe, 3 8 something like that. So it's a little on the thinner side, but you kind of uh, the idea of the saw is kind of so you can make it so you can curve, curvy, curvy. If it runs straight, that'd be nice too. But uh, I want to see what we get now. I haven't tried it yet. Just put the blade on and I kind of brought the, the, the two guides in. It gave it a little bit of room. I didn't know I don't know how metal chips are gonna affect it. Somewhere I have a uh, another setup with two rollers on it, actually three rollers on it that to, to, for the uh, blade to roll on instead of rub against. But uh, we'll see how we make out with this. Is that not what I want? I want to lower it down. Not that low neither. Don't you guys love trying to work with one hand? Let's try this. <laughs> All right. So it's on there. I got it running the slowest speed. Seems to run pretty good. Got a piece of steel over here. This is eighth inch plate, so this is about the thickest I really want to kind of use it for. Other than that, I got a, a bigger saw to go use it to go use. Swap hands here. And, uh, you nib off a corner. Where are we? that a, a wood saw cut in metal, wouldn't you? Let's see what it does on a curve now. Let's see if we can make for a... Uh... just dandy again that the, that's eighth inch plate it's not um, you know body panels or anything so uh, that I'm very happy with I think after I put a set of rollers on there and uh, we'll be good to go I like it I'll uh, try some maybe a thicker piece just to, for shits and giggles to see how it works but my total investment is twenty dollars for the saw the belt for the bottom was twenty dollars and the blade was thirty four uh, add that up is what thirty four forty four fifty four sixty four seventy seventy four dollars and I have a metal cutting saw that will allow me to swing much bigger pieces of metal through the side of it when I'm trying to cut, whereas the other one that I have over there, um, it, the, the return blade comes right here, and there's not much room for doing any kind of swinging like that. I'll show you. Which is this saw over here, which is um, okay. It does what it's supposed to do. Uh, the blade jumps off a lot. You kind of you kind of put pressure on it and I, I know it's kind of a problem with these saws but it is what it is and again that's the, the distance you have when you're trying to go cut something between the two is I wouldn't even say that's three inches in between there three three and a half something like that so therein lies my problem 
so I will probably just uh, sell this saw and get rid of it. I really don't need it. And uh, what I think I might try and do also for a thicker blade, uh, my large saw, this is what I use for cutting all the, the really big stuff. This is water cooled also. And this has a, what's that, a three quarter inch blade? Yeah, something like that. Runs a three quarter inch blade. And uh, I might have a half inch one for it also. And here's some old ones up here. This is an old one. I may try cutting one of those down to 82 inches and welding it with the TIG welder and see if I can make my own blade. A lot of times the blade gets brittle when you do that and uh, it just falls apart at the weld. But if it's an old blade, it's not worth anything anyway and usually they get a bad spot in them. That's why you change them out and you strip some teeth off. So that'll be the section that I cut out and see if I can make something out of it. Hey right, guys, again, uh, thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing and uh, get to make a lot of metal product projects. I think I'm actually going to stick that saw, remove this one, and uh, again this one's just kind of set up for what I tried doing the same thing with that one but it didn't have enough snot to it. And uh, I may go just place that right between the two doors there. It should fit. They put a lazy Susan underneath it like I rotate the saw and lock it. Alright guys, I'm done Gavin. Take care. Bye.